Oh, there's four. Very good. And I'll click got it so it doesn't black out everything. All right. Uh, Back Bay Astronomy meeting will now come to order. And uh, we'll we'll get it rolling pretty fast. We have some distinguished guests here. I think the, the first thing we should do is let the guests all introduce themselves. And I'll try to train the camera around so you, so you guys can be the meeting, right? You're, you're going to be the meeting. All right. I'm going to do that. I can use this too. It, it's hard. You can try it. All right. You can try it. Yeah, I can put a little control. All right. Great. Right. I, I was just going to turn this silly thing. You, you have to kind of point it at something and it bounces on that sensor on that thing. Yeah. I got framed up on you right now. Where do you want it? Oh, good. Okay. Well, we'll start on Ben. Introductions? I mean, well, yeah, introductions. So we're, we're, we're getting over there for you. We're doing it a little bit out of order, but I want to I make like sure we get everybody. Doing... Yeah, who you are and whatever you want to say. Okay, there he is. There go. He's there. Uh, He's there. Uh, member of the uh, scholarship committee here at Back Bay Amateur Astronomers. I uh, have a home observatory, 14 inch uh, Celestron home observatory. And I like tracking uh, impacts on asteroids on uh, Jupiter, but I haven't got one yet. But I'm working on it. Very good. Okay. Yes, sir. Dave Thorson, just uh, kind of going last year, but I haven't really done much. But, Great. Uh, <laughs> trying, trying to learn. <laughs> Welcome, James. Came to the right place. Uh, while we're on, on that side, see if you can grab uh, Sean. Sean, I like to do uh, help wherever it is needed. <laughs> and he's web the webmaster guru. And well, I, do, I do a bunch of stuff. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of stuff. Absolutely, he's not. He's he's very modest today. All right, why don't we try try you three guys, the the three musketeers? They're not paying attention. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> The three musketeers are next. <laughs> I'm Bruce Powers. I've been in the club 10 years. Uh, I've been an amateur astronomer for 40 years. I have four scopes. And my latest project is reactivating the scope star party with a fine group of volunteers. Very good. A very successful uh, redo of it, I know. Okay, what about you other two guys next to him? I'm Jeremy Mitchell with Enthusiastic Amateur. Good. Jacob. Okay. Excellent. All right. And Eric's next over there. Eric Bailey, fairly new member. Did you get him? Okay. He's a new member and he's a great guy. We're both in rocketing too, by the way. So I'll, I'll put a pitch in for rocketing. Another rocketeer. Yeah. Okay. How about? Go ahead. Uh, Bill Russ, uh, doing astronomy. So I enjoy this stuff and uh, I have a product I want to talk about and do the program for it to see the equipment. This is good wearable. Uh, my name is Kurt. Kurt Carter. I joined earlier this year. Um, I've been interested in astronomy pretty much my whole life and trying to get back into the reserve. Like I did when I was there. Great. Sean Weaver and I'm a trainer in the club and the little stars. Great. Uh, my name is Aaron Weaver. Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, we'll have to turn. Uh, so I just so I just checked the uh, bank account. We officially joined today. Very good. Clear. Welcome, so welcome to the club. Good. You won't be disappointed. Um, just like him though, man. I do like uh, watching stars and stuff like that as well. I'm looking to uh, we're both in the Boy Scouts. I'm the Scout Master for the Troop. Um, looking to try to bring in some astronomy into that uh, organization as well as far as like the uh, the Astronomy Merit Badge. Right. George has got a lot of experience our, our president. I'm the vice president, Jeff Goldstein, but uh, George has got a lot of experience with merit badges and stuff. He's the one you want to contact for sure. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, Andy Faye, fairly new member. Uh, 
try to do the astro photography thing and pick up my first telescope for visual journey to pick up a 10 inch dog. So uh, we'll try to figure out. <laughs> Excellent. And we got uh, Jeff uh, Edmondson right here. He's operating the camera as well as uh, it, now he's uh, uh, behind the camera guy, but he's in the front of the camera yeah. at the moment. Yeah. At the moment. Yeah. Yeah. And he's going to give us all good forecasts except for Sunday. Is that right? But Sunday's yeah. supposed to. Yeah, Sunday looks pretty good. Bad rain and stuff. I yeah. know. Okay. But we got great weather tonight. I mean, I don't know what the sky is around here, but it was a it was a portal two or three back in. I was in Gates County yesterday, and I'll talk talk about it later. Okay, we'll swing it back around and does come up. Know, does Jeff get to say what he is? We does. Oh well, oh, yeah. yeah. What we should do is get these guys to say something too. Did, did we get you? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. David Schulweis. I did a bit of a year and a half. I'm a long time member of the Denver Sun, but at ATM when I don't. So I'm just wondering. Great. You might see it start. Excellent. Maker, yeah, that's potential uh, like patch or something. It used to be a thing. Really, no in, kidding. In my day. Oh, I got it. So we have an exceptional number of talented people here. And go ahead and let's introduce everybody out there in the peanut gallery. We'll start with Richard Roberts. Um, I'm Rich. I'm the club treasurer. Uh, my main interest tends to be variable stars. So I do my own um, observing. I also do a lot of uh, stuff with remote scopes, collecting data, and I hope to publish and uh, research. Also, every year in the uh, observer's hammer, uh, it's like third year in a row, I write a blurb on variable stars in this, in the uh, observer's handbook. And oh, so I'm in there this year again. So it's not just Lee Ann's the author, you're an author too, huh? Okay, good. Okay, uh, how about Chuck from way out there in Colorado land? Oh. We're not we're not hearing you. Get your audio. Well, we'll, we'll let him work on his audio, it, it, unless you think he's not going to be able to. in the chat is suggesting microphones. I'm kind of wondering about his advice right now. <laughs> <laughs> look it up. Well, he yeah he's not muted, but it, not his muted. mic's not picking it up. Well, we're going to skip you, Chuck, for right now until you resolve it and go to Roland. Hey, Roland Downing. I've been a club member for three and a, almost four years now, and my main inf main area of interest is helping out with uh, public school STEM type events. He comes to a lot of stuff too. I've seen him in many, many during the week. You know, we're the retired guys, so we don't have an excuse like you guys working people. Okay, uh, go ahead, Doc. You're up, uh, Kevin. Hi, Kevin Brooks. Been with the club about a year now. My interest is how to get into astrophotography. Okay, very good. Welcome, welcome back. Uh, we miss you in person too. And there's Jeff Thornton. I got, by the way, I got a folder with your name. I have no idea what's in there. From George, I don't Wait, know. Can yeah. you hear me on this thing? I yeah, yeah. It's a new it. machine, and it's not working like it's supposed to. It's, anyway, it's I'm Jeffrey Thornton. I most I've been in the club for about four years. Uh, former secretary, and uh, also like I enjoy going to the outreach events that we have. Um, let's go to as many as I can get to, and try to get to every Saturday, Sunday, when they're not canceled. But um, yeah, that's me. Welcome back! Welcome back! All Thanks. right, welcome to everybody that came in. We got it, such an exciting program today. Believe it or not, Chuck, did you get yours going? I don't know. Can you hear? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Who are you, Chuck? What what a special thing! Fifty years of computer technology, and I managed to get the speaker, the microphone work. <laughs> it, well, when you're not Santa Claus, Chuck, what do you do out there? Actually, I'm going to be Santa Claus next week to this Speak grade school. Yeah. <laughs> then I can cut my beard. But they're gonna, anyway, the kids are going to pull your beard. They're not going to believe it. Yeah, they do. They yank it. <laughs> I, I I wear my cowboy hat to hide my bald spot. So, but, uh, just recently got my. Uh, well, the wife thinks it's a garage, but it's actually a single door observatory. 
Oh. I have about eight telescopes up there, and six of the eight are functioning and working. One of them, my, my ancient Mead 10 inch that I had back when I first joined BBAA, it wasn't working so well out in Virginia, but I guess that ride in the, in the rental truck coming out here jarred some things, and it works like a champ now. <laughs> Go figure. What, 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 what can you say, you know? And uh, it's really nice. The skies are dark, but last night when I was up there, it was 17 degrees, and the wind started blowing, so that was it. I went home. It's about 10 miles from where I live. Wow. So, looks like you guys got a bunch of new members. Yeah, quite a few. We are over 200. 200. Wow. That's right. Um, the secretary's not here. President's not here. They're both, um, I think the secretary, he called me earlier today, and he's, he's very sick, and he's having trouble with his back. So uh, I asked him to try to join Zoom, and he said he'd try, but... He may not be able to do it because he's having such trouble with his back and his pain and everything. So we, I told him we all pray for him. We want him to come back quick because he's our he's our guest uh, guest speaker when he when it comes to uh, secretary report. So is there any questions about the secretary report? No, because we don't have a secretary. All right, uh, and that takes care of everybody except Rich with the treasurer's report. You're not going to do vice president? You're not going over the schedule? Oh, I, I skipped myself. Wait, hang on. I, I've got myself here. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking everybody else is going to get a turn. Okay, uh, I'm sharing the screen. How are you guys doing? Can you see it okay? Yep. All right. Um, what we're going to do from now on... Following this meeting, we're not going to go over all the things that are normally scheduled. For example, every month there's a sky watch. This time it's the ninth. What we're going to do is publish this list and send it to everybody. And you'll have exactly, you know, in a butcher block format, you'll have exactly the, the events that are like permanent events, you know. But the ones that are not permanent, like, for example, yesterday I went to Astro Night at Gates County. And those we can we can read on the air here. So it, it's boring to go through all these uh, events, and you already know about them, like Corn Watch. You already know that there's going to be two of those, and that's an overnight thing with uh, with our uh, amateur astronomers. It's really a club members only on that. Uh, Sky Watch is coming up the ninth, and the weather's supposed to be good. Jeff said the weather's supposed to be good Saturday, so that's good. I'm sure it's going to be cold, cold, cold okay oh it's not gonna be bad, no, bad. No. it was 31 degrees last night at yeah, gates yeah. county yeah that's good all right so that's coming up and that's a great event uh there's usually about 10 of us we we bring telescopes and we have a lot of fun showing the public so a lot of these are outreach public uh, views this one i didn't set up for public use but the gem the gemini's meteor shower is going to be at heritage park out in windsor i'm clicking on it to see if it'll come up yeah and um that's that's the biggest one, 120 per hour uh, from the asteroid Phaethon, Faith, and uh, that's the origin of why we're having such a great shower here. That's the peak of the shower is on the 13th evening to the 14th and early in the morning. So it starts Wednesday night real late, like 11-ish, and goes through Thursday about 3 o'clock. And we'll stay longer if we see more, if you want to, because we, we got a pass for the for the uh, for the evening and morning thing, that's Heritage Park. I'll bring the permit and I'll make sure that all the police know that we're going to be there and we don't get raided like we did one time. Uh, they, what are you guys doing here? You know that kind of thing. All right, and you, if you want directions, you click on this. This is on Night Sky Network. Any questions about that? That's a real good one. I expect about at least a hundred of us to come out. At least a hundred. Right? Raise your hand right now if you're going to come out. Yes, <laughs> two. Oh my gosh, okay. Only two people are coming out, me and, and Jeff Edmonds. <laughs> All right. Nobody else wants to show up. I know you're gonna raise my hand. You weren't paying attention. No, well, Sean's gonna come too. If it's not cloudy, I'm gonna be there. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be there if it's cloudy, even because the clouds are gonna clear up, right? That's All right, corn watch. We already talked about BBA luncheon at Stripers is fantastic food, good company. And I put out two messages to make sure. Everybody knows when and where, and that's going to be at Stripers on Waterside, noon to three on um, Saturday afternoon. Okay, that's hold on, hold on. 
Joe Schulman on this level. Okay, what did I mess up? I, I've seen a lot of people asking how you RSVP right there, where it says RSVP. That's where you're going to put down your comment. Uh, the regular spot. I'll put a little higher. You would go up. Where is it? Oh, yeah. right here. That's well, where the, you the, the message is the message has the link to it. But if, if you want to just go to it through Night Sky Network, you click on this tab right here. And right now, we'll show everybody who's coming. See? Look at all the yeses. Yay! And I got some probabilities, too. Very good. All right. Any questions about that? So we got a pretty good number, but we need more. Yes, sir. I uh, wrote somebody saying I was coming because I didn't see the RSVP box. Okay. I, I, I put some people that that re replied to me, uh, Bill, yeah, yeah, you're on there. I, I think I added you. Thank you. And I, I don't know how many you're bringing. Two. All right, so if you can click on this and change it, update. Uh, I don't even know if we're keeping track of how many yes are coming, but uh, it all the information is there. All right, any other questions? Um, it's about 30, maybe 35. So if we get a hundred, it'll be, it'll be a new record. <laughs> yeah, usually you have maybe thirty people show up, but we always have space left over mm -hmm. too. Okay, yeah, they, there's usually empty seats. Yeah. All right, back away here, and let's see what's the next thing up here. Night watch. Uh, oh, night watch that evening. So if you feel like going to that after this huge lunch, you can go to night watch too. Let's see what else we got. Club meeting the following uh, on January 4th, 7.30, Corn Watch, Sky Watch. And that's based on the moon and and not to interfere with uh, the moon, of course, interferes with our stargazing. So we try to schedule that so it's not to interfere. We do have the whole permanent, uh, what do you call the recurring schedule is already posted. So George and I did that for January, February, all the way to January of 2025. So we, it's all on here, Garden Stars, he, he put all those on there. So if you if you have any questions uh, and I'm not around to ask, please go to Night Sky Network and click on these events. All right, so. Did you guys see where it says download events to iCal? Yeah. If you pick your dates right there below that, and it'll pull them all up and then you can download it and then upload it in whatever app you use. For your calendar. Yeah, right. That's right good. Your calendar. a good point. That's yeah, a very good point. Look. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it works with other. Apple, yeah. Google. Yeah, I think you have, to, you have to download it and upload it. You can't get it. To, I, I tried to get it to sync. Oh, yeah, you do have to download that. And when he adds something, I just do it periodically every quarter or so. Okay. Download it because he'll add events oh. next right. year. Right. I never knew you could do it in batches, though. Yeah. Interesting. It'll, that is good. You do the whole, well, he hasn't put anything past. January of 2025 yet, I'm sure. Right. It's, I don't think but, there's anything. So I usually that. just go to the end of the year because in yeah, December, nothing. that's Perfect. when they add next year's events. Perfect. Thank you, Sharon. Hmm. Yeah, that it goes all the way. Nope. <laughs> there, it knows if it's in the calendar. Yeah, right. That's pretty yep. awesome. All right. Any questions about that? We don't want to waste too much time with yes. the trivia. This is relatively trivial, you know. Uh, there's moon planets and DSO coming up on the 17th of February. But we're not even into February. We're only into January. Okay. So what else we got here? Greenbrier Steam. There's a lot of events during the week. George and I and um, Nathaniel, we we love to go to these things. But please don't hesitate to sign up for those things also if you're available. Greenbrier, the Greenbrier. Yeah, Greenbrier uh, Elementary. Oh. Let me see. I'll just click on it and see what it is. Primary. Yeah, it's Primary Steam Day. So they, they love having, we've been there a few times, I think. So all these are a lot of fun for the kids. And if it's lousy weather, we'd set up a telescope and read the signs across the cafeteria. And they're, they're still amazed you know, that they can read stuff that's 300, two, two, 300 feet away. All right. Any questions about these things? No? Okay. Very good. And now we're up to the treasures report. He's, he's working on it. I can tell. Whoa. What is that? All right. That was technical. That was technical. <laughs> that was like a, uh, a, a valve. Yeah. 
Oh, you, you want you interested in Valve Cut? She's don't worry about. It. I can send them to you. <laughs> if you want to, I, 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 if, if you're, no, nah, actually, never mind. All right, let's. Uh, we got seventy one four uh forty nine across all our accounts as of December first. That is a decrease from the previous month of six hundred and thirty nine dollars. Why did we spend so much money? Well, uh, we did buy a telescope in last month for five hundred dollars. Um. It's not for the officers. It's not a. It, it, there is no perk for being a club officer of getting <laughs> telescopes. It's for Georgie June raffle, and it's the one sitting in the uh, room there. Um, and then we also spent two hundred eighty-two dollars on uh, on an apparel order, but we get our money for apparel up front, so that's already. Yeah, you know, we already got the money. Now we expended it um, with Georgie June. We got to make it back because. Um, that's how we fund our scholarships. So we had how many new members? We had five new members throughout the um, throughout the month, which has been pretty standard. We about five six every month, which takes us up to two hundred and six members currently on the roster. Now that will probably change because at the end of December, all of our dues are due. So I will send uh, reminders out pretty soon. Don't freak out. I'm going to send a blast to Nice Guy Network. It goes to, to everybody. A lot of people are paid up multiple years in advance. So if you're like, why is why am I getting this? It's just going to everybody. If you don't pay uh, by the end of the month, then you will start getting personalized emails from me if you actually do owe money. Or if you have any questions like, hey, do I, I, I thought I was paid up or if I'm not, you can always just ask me and I'll say, no, you're good. Or, um, no, man, you best have my money. But overall, we're in a strong financial position. We have plenty of money to fund our stuff that it takes to run the club for the next year already. And we about to get paid when everyone renews their dues. And then um, after January, we start purging. We'll see where we are. But um, we have a lot of members. <laughs> um so yeah, the the telescope and the apparel order were our two big expenses, and then everything else rolling in was like dues and stuff. So um, if you have any questions, let me know, and I will go through it in more detail. If we good, we good. So Richard, did, do we have any more city or state money money more coming in? We don't have any city or state money now. We are still owed. From Boardwalk Astronomy, um, I reached out a few weeks ago to uh, Mike Hinton over at, was it, whatever that company is, IMG or whatever events, and he said that the check had gone out, um, but we had not received it. So um, I asked him, he said he would stop payment on that one and issue us a new one. I just um, sent you a, a, a mailing from the post office box. And mm -hmm. it looked like there was a it looked like either a check or a bill. I didn't open it up. Did you get that yet? Okay, I, that's what I was hoping because I, I was kind of waiting and I received the last one you sent me like a few weeks ago before yeah. reaching out and saying, Hey man, where's our money? Um, so I, I was hoping it was that ago. that I that mail that, that, that's on coming. Monday. I haven't got it yet, but I know it's on the way. I saw your okay. I saw your email. Hopefully didn't stop payment on that one. If yeah, that's what I'm wondering. I was gonna check with him before I tried catching it if it came in to make sure it was the one that wasn't stopped. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I'll uh, I'll check in with him before because that's gonna be a big check. <laughs> that's like two grand. Um, okay, gotcha. okay. Yeah. So that that that'll uh, really put our our scholarship into really good spot. Um, and if we sell a lot of tickets with Georgie June, which I expect, yeah, be okay. a good spot on, on Thank you for, yeah, scholarships and plus there's just money. Scholarship that's what, I was to what was that? I, I I have trouble hearing from the gallery. Just trying to plan for next year's scholarship amounts, and that's why I was a little, a little worried on the Georgie June side of things. Yeah, um, Georgie June. I mean, we're at a we're at a nader here because we just bought the telescope. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so I think that we will recover and be at the thousand dollar mark or close to it. it, close enough where, like I said, if we need to move money out of the general fund into the scholarship fund, I don't think that would be an issue. And then our primary scholarship is going to be loaded. After we get that um, boardwalk check from uh, yeah the events people, yeah perfect okay yep. And along those lines about money, 
Uh, we do have tickets to the Georgie June Scholarship Fund. They just came in today, hot off the press, and they're only five bucks for a ticket. How can you beat that for a six five hundred dollar telescope? I forget what we yeah, 500. for five hundred dollar telescope, and we're only selling a hundred tickets. So your chance is probably fair. So no, it's, a good deal. it's a great deal yeah. it has sky sense it takes you know uh plate solving it's a schmidt cast grain i've got it right here i'll take the solar filter off so you can see the front it comes with a homemade solar filter from sean and it's got this thing so this is highly desirable especially if you don't have a scope i don't know if they can see it on zoom uh, well, yeah, it's not real. Turn it. There you go. That's good. I'm oh, yeah. sure it's turning it it. I see it up there. Oh, okay. you got star sense on it. Yeah, it's got star sense. It's got uh, uh, a red dot, uh, red dot finder. And uh, so we're gonna put some. We're gonna put some uh, stuff on sale here, uh, real shortly. Probably the last thing we do when we do have a little uh, door prize too. Like during the door prize, uh, just distribution, if we have any. I need the tickets. Ticket? That's the one that we're going to be the so, Oh, the demand's out there already. I, I, I will make a point, too. If you want to pay online, you can go to the BBA store and do a donation for like 20 bucks and just put in the notes, find four Georgie June tickets. Okay. Um, and if you come in them. and you're just paying online, put a note in there. Or if you say, hey, look, send them to me, let us know. We can get them to you. I um, guess we can either mail them or give it to them at the uh, luncheon. If they're yeah, there. yeah. If you say, yeah, we can make arrangements or, or whatever to get them to you. But you can just do it online. We don't have a Dropbox. So, uh, There's no thing on there saying Georgie June tickets. But just do a club donation and then the notes, right? I'm buying okay. Georgie June tickets. And they cost $5 each. So. If it's a multiple of five, we'll be, I'll be able to figure out how many you're buying. Um, also, on creative accounting, you know, we mentioned numbers in the, the scholarship funds. Now, with, we bought the $500 telescope. I put that expense in the Georgia June scholarship. I could also just move that into the spreadsheet from the general fund that it was bought with the general fund. And then our Georgia June scholarship number goes up by $900 or $500 in there, $900 in there. So um, we put the expense there because it is a motion. We're gonna recover, is that, is that your motion, it. Rich? Is that your motion, Rich? Are you moving to uh, move the funds from the general fund to the Georgia? I am Union? just saying that there are options because really all this money is sitting in one bank account, and all of these numbers breakouts just exist in a spreadsheet for for tracking. So I could easily move that expense into the general fund to say, hey, the club's okay. Uh, okay. Well, it, Ben it, seconds, it, it is seconds not. your motion. Do we? Have, is there any discussion? What All in motion? favor of moving the general fund? Uh, how much? Five hundred dollars for yeah, general fund like, to Georgie okay. June. Signify by that expense. right hand. All I'll do is oh, no. expense to each. Almost <laughs> unanimous. <Jeez>. All right. <laughs> Other <And> way. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> okay. And, the uh, motion. I'll take care of it. Okay, very good. Thank you. That's a motion passed. I'm, I'm trying to get a job. Maybe Enron will hire me. Oh, yeah, that's oh, right. That's Enron, that's, that's a good one. Okay. Hey, just a quick question about the donation we the website. Uh, there's options for the outreach part of the scholarship. Use the scholarship fund for the donation. Did you hear that, Rich? No. Uh, Say again. On the donate on the, the, BB, the BBAA web store. Uh, there's an option for outreach fund and scholarship fund. Use the scholarship fund donate. Uh, yeah, go to scholarship fund. Got it. Okay, excellent. Yeah. And thanks for reminding me. I forgot there was two options there. And we'll know the name. Not either way, but yeah, go to scholarship fund and just put in Georgie June tickets. So and those know. names go to you. So we'll, we'll be able to figure out how to get these tickets to the people if they don't. You don't need to have to give them a ticket because the stub, we have their information. So it'll go in oh, to see. the jar. And if they win, we know who it is because he's going to tell us okay. to put the name on that ticket. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Okay. That's, that, that's right. Because like every year I do it like that and I never receive tickets. I just say throw, you know, 10 tickets well, in the jar. Sure. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Hope Got they're you. making it to the jar. I never win anything. Yeah. Kind of means it's vicious. 
<laughs> and if you don't win, it's 100% tax deductible. So come on, folks. Just as a plug, I bought 10 tickets uh, either last year or year before, yeah. and I won a second prize or something like that. It was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah I don't even get that. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm tasking you to keep an eye on Sean, make sure that my tickets get in the jar when I buy it. <laughs> okay, he's not paying attention, but I'll make sure he knows. To yeah, put your yeah. I need some backup. I need, I need some uh, <laughs> verification. Hey. Okay. Well, moving right along, um, can we get a report from the scholarship fund? Is there anything new? Um, no. Uh, thank you for the information, uh, Richard, on the Treasury report. Just so everybody knows, the scholarship is uh, two two aspects. One is the Back Amateur Astronomer Scholarship. The other one was the uh, Georgia June Memorial Scholarship. And Georgia June was a uh, member of our club, gave so much to the outreach, and just was a wonderful person, but she left us way too early in life. And so we memorialized her support for our club uh, with the scholarship. Um, and uh, really, for our size club, the fact that we give uh, $2,500 out every year uh, is an amazing testament. I'm, you know, part of other clubs and other associations, and that's a real testament. And it goes out to incredibly talented students that apply, you know, based on their great GPA, and they do a, a 500 word essay and stuff, and they end up going to, you know, engineering, technical, and, and uh, astro sciences uh, degrees and stuff. So, amazing students. So, great, great program, and it's Tax deductible. So donate, you know, take your work where you work, you know, business money, personal money, whatever. Um, so donate to the club. And if you don't win, like I said, if you don't win this, then it's a full tax write off because it's a donation. <laughs> if you win, then you got to figure all that crazy stuff out. But, uh, so can't recommend it enough. So we'll set the numbers pretty much as it was last year, which was a, a $1,500 for the BBAA scholarship and then $1,000 for the Georgia Jr. Memorial Scholarship. So good job to everyone, you know, and supporting the club and doing everything we do. Excellent. And when is the drawing? Good question. It's, it's not my department. Was it at the, not at the picnic? Is that, it's, 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 it's an April? April. Oh, yeah. April 4th, there you go. The yeah, it's at the, the club meeting. Right at here. the club right meeting, here. April 4th. Got right it. Here. There's a bunch of clips. Oh, oh, that's, yeah, a few, uh, that's right. Four yeah. days. Indianapolis. Yeah. yeah. Center line. That's and right. I'm not going to be here for that, so... I'm going to be in Waco. All Hotel right. Hotel prices came down. That's, that's good. That's good. Yeah, if you want to be impressed, go look at the the two students that won the scholarship this last spring. Go yeah. go watch the video on our YouTube channel, and you will be impressed. Because it was over my head. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the I technical mean, writing. Yeah, when they, they came did. in and were telling us what they were getting. Oh, about, yeah, yeah. That's right. essay, yeah, it was impressive. Yeah, I have them read their essays. Cool. That, that is good. Thank you for, for doing research. that too. Yeah, that was real, that was legit research. Okay, so Ben Loyola is in charge of that, and uh, we thank him immensely for all of his good work. Uh, how about the RRRT? Does anybody have a report on the remote? It's open right now, and it is imaging right now. So oh, so the RRRT is open right now. If anybody doesn't know about this, uh, let me know. And we'll get somebody to talk about it in more detail. Okay, so we don't want to waste any time with that if you already know about it. If you don't have an account, um, contact Ben Loyola, and he'll make sure you get one. All right. I guess we're up to uh, old business and then new business and observing. I think that, did I leave anything out? I, I'm doing hey, this. Hey, Jeff, um, yes. out here, and uh, can you do a demonstration or an overview of the telescope and full screen. Let's out here in Zoom. Uh, at really full screen, I think you I have to do. It, maybe. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring it closer. You have to describe it. You do have the, the all right. I'll give you all the specifications. Yeah. What's the model number? What yeah. come with? That's it's a stuff. popular science by Celestron. And I'm looking for the focal length and all that neat stuff. There's a link on the uh, BBA page. Oh, okay. There's a link on the BBAA page. Oh, yeah. Here it is. 125 millimeter focal length, 1250 F10. So uh, it's really over a meter long in, uh, in focal five length. Five inch or six inch? It's a five. It's a 125. Yeah, it competes with the old uh, Mead ETX 125, right. which is very popular. Right. I have. Mm -hmm. And it's got a dovetail <laughs> mount. Let me see if I can get it closer to the camera. I got to look around this chair. Oh, oh, you got it tuned in. Okay. I can see it. It's going to okay. drop the it's eyepiece. Got a so. Visual back with a diagonal. It's got an inch and a quarter eyepiece. Let's see. What's, there's the focus. And here's, I'll be turning around a little bit. You can see the star sense. 
Oh, so you have to point it basically. Yeah. Tell and you, you put your cell phone up there, and it figures out that takes a plate uh, plate saw, and it figures out everything you're supposed to be seeing, and it works real good. Uh, we've seen some demonstrations uh, out in the field with that. Not with this one, but we've seen some good good quality I a, imaging. I took a photo of a sign with that solar filter and put it on the page, too. It's good. It's a nice photo. Yeah, it's it's a beta. It's not the orange kind. It's it's white light coming in. Uh, well, no, it's brand new. <laughs> Sean made it. <laughs> Technically, he's right. I used it. I, okay, it's used. I, I, it's a used filter just to test it. It's just tested, you know. Uh, non-destructive testing. All right, what else can I tell you about it? Don't know. It's got a tag that says "Don't look at the sun." I just uh, dropped the link in the uh, in the chat, Jeff, to for the okay. uh, telescope on Celestron's web page. Oh, oh, you okay. just dropped the link. I I'm with you. Thank you. Very good. You got a great deal. You see, I was six hundred dollars now, but we got it when it was still on sale for five hundred. Okay. Oh, oh, they went up a hundred bucks, and we yeah, we got it for five. It was the Black Friday sale or whatever. Yeah, there's two five inches. There's two five inches. Yeah, I don't know what the difference is, but the one is four ninety nine, the one that was five ninety nine. So oh, they're both Schmidt Cassegrain. I don't know. Yeah, I really yeah, I only saw it briefly, but I did see it on there. Okay, very good. All right, any questions on that? The Georgia June Scholarship, the prize, the great prize here, and Nice, uh, yeah, it's, it's a fairly nice mount. It's pretty solid. Yeah, it's not doesn't have a go to, but it does. But you don't need it with this, right? It's a push to. All right. It works good too. I tested that. Yeah. It works good. Those little five control lines. Uh -huh. oh, it was okay. tracking fine. So it's all yeah. as. It's all, yeah, it's all as. Yeah. Did you did you not touch anything or you didn't? Know? No, I touched <laughs> It has to be. It has to be Sean tested. It has to be Sean tested. Oh, yeah. I kid proof the screen or the front of it. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Nice. Okay. Um, let's do old business. Um, last month I recommended that we make badges for everybody. And uh, I do have the laminator and I didn't have time to get everybody's uh, badge made, but uh, this is what they're going to look like. Just if I can get a close up of it. Uh oh how close we can get. So this is what it's in focus. I don't know, I can't tell. Yeah, hold still. All right. So this is what your uh, badge is gonna look like, right? A lot of people think uh, it's like uh, blazing saddles. We don't need no sticky badges, but we do need it. When the police come and say, what are you guys doing? <laughs> and we do need it, we really do. Okay, so this is what, you know, saved us the last time when we went someplace that we weren't authorized. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's one of the old business things that I had, and I don't have my list. Is there any old business that anybody can remember? Okay, it's going to be a short meeting. Uh, what about new business? Any new business? Okay, Bruce has some. Uh, so briefly, uh, we are in contact for Chippewa State Park for the next iteration of the East Coast Park Party. Um, the park manager has changed. Yet again, but we are in contact with the new one on email. Um, George Reynolds tentatively, emphasis on the tentatively proposed May 1912 for the spring East Coast Park Party. That is the new weekend. May 1912. The drivers for that are, of course, Park River Park Party is uh, March 4 through 10. So March is out. We don't want to uh, overlap with them. Um, April 8th is the uh, winter flip so we're going to go to that. So uh, what's left of the spring is basically March, we're doing the three no. uh, January, February. Right. Sorry, May, yeah. Say, yeah. So anyway, um, so March. that's the, the reason for the May 9th and 12th date. That is very tentative. I know it's on the calendar is tentative. We have not confirmed that with Chippos, but that's probably what we're Okay, very good. Thank you. Don't tell the mosquitoes either. Uh, we don't want that. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of the new business, I think. And observing reports, we'll let, let you guys talk a little bit, and I'll tell you what I've observed so far, but I'll be last. 
Okay, Jeff Edmondson's got something. Super special, but uh, the night of, um, of Thanksgiving was a clear night. I had a bunch of family over and said, you know, I'm going to roll up the telescope and show up on Saturn. And I zoomed in on my 10 inch. Very and, good. Uh, it was great because all the kids got to see it for the first time. Some adults got to see it for the first time. So for me, it was nice, but for them, it was super exciting. So that was kind of my observing report. So I'm happy with that. Very good. Okay. Did I get you on camera? That's it. Yeah, I did. All right, good. good. All right, just <laughs> All right. this is the non uh, the non technical way. To James, the studio. Thanks. Are you in there? Yeah, and, and my my story is sort of similar, but uh, as I mentioned earlier, um, the uh, uh, Celestron Eight SE was six hundred dollars off. Now it's only four hundred dollars off on Amazon. Uh, so I picked that up because my brother twisted my arm, uh, and the first thing that I did when I you know unboxed it and took it out to my backyard before I paired up. And, Shield and crap like that uh, was uh, take a good solid look at Jupiter uh, as a test of Jupiter. I had a little cavity as a final test of the Northwest River. Northwest River. Yeah, that I made. Mm -hmm. uh, I did a bit of each telescope, but thank you again, whoever that was. Uh, but uh, yeah, so my telescope, my little Jupiter, I think you would stay on. What, what telescope you have? Celestron 8SE. Is that Schmidt Cascrain? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Great for planetary. Awesome. All right. Anybody else have some good reports for us? Yeah. Okay. I posted uh, what on the 19th of November about Comet 12B, and I was able to see it from my driveway. Oh, and I see Kim, Kim posted uh, today that he saw it from his with his 25 inch. Right. So I was using a 10 inch, <laughs> but so you might still be able to see it tonight, really. Okay, that's what it's about. Near Vega was the last I heard. Yeah, that's what Ken had said uh, today. I believe it was right near Vega. Yeah. So they may not be able to see it because the stars are so bright, but right. Yeah. But tomorrow, we don't know if the weather's tracking better than that because we know where about where to look. Yeah. Good. All right. Anybody else got anything? Okay, Bill's got something. I'll say a word. All right. Because winter's not. There you go. Okay, he's going to share. Show and tell. Show and tell. Uh, the last year, and I think it was October, my wife does needlepoint, and she did this needlepoint thing, and she took it out to, we both went out to this little town about 100 miles northeast of here, and then we had to go pick it up, and get the money. And right next door to this place was a lady's clothing store. Well, guess what we went next? Of course. <laughs> so we were in the clothing store, and I was looking around for TV or pool table or something. And I, I walked over to this rack, and it had, guess what? Men's clothes. And in it was this thing. I said, what is this? This, yeah, this is a, what they call fishing gear. It is made by APCO, and it's available online. This particular one, I paid about 150 bucks for. And I thought, I tried it on, and my body temperature automatically went up 10 degrees. <laughs> it's got it's got this uh, contraption in it where you can pull it up over your head, if you like, mm -hmm. and you can breathe through the hole. And uh, it's got a hoodie that's made for a cap. And this thing is fantastic. It's Fleece line as well. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm telling you this, if you go out there and you're freezing your butt off and you want to protect yourself against it, I mean, if it's really like 12 degrees, you're going to need another jacket over top of it. But I'm tired of freezing my can off and I'm observing, and I thought I'd pass this on to you guys. Very well, nice. It looks light. It nice. looks like a summer thing, doesn't it? Yeah, TCO. Yeah, this is fantastic. Uh, it's well, I said this has its limit. It's good to about 45 or lower. And if you're sitting on your duck, looking through an eyepiece or doing uh, imaging, you can get cold. That's right. And uh, even though I'm in a, I got a little hut uh, where I have my telescope and dome on it, it's still cold. So I thought I'd just share that. With you guys. Thank you, Bill. Yeah, thanks. That is good. Good tip. Oh, other right. styles too. This one doesn't have a pocket when I wish it did. Yeah, that's what I wish the uh, BBA shirts would have. Target. I'm really used to having a pocket here. 
I have to put my phone in my pants pocket, you know. I swear my broke pants. So. Oh, yeah? <laughs> okay. I did forget to mention shirts. We have some brand new shirts that were just ordered. And is anybody out there or is anybody in presently or presently or order? No, not here. Shirt? I looked at the list. You already looked. Oh, no. Nobody's here. Okay. The people that ordered are here. Right. So now, I got some older shirts that were ordered. And I think we're going to have to do is mail these guys. John Russell, John Carter. He got money. Uh, Rachel Perry. So maybe these folks will show up and we'll bring them to the lunch and food. That's the George Carter. Eric. Robert Schmidt and Nate. We got Nate Rowland's uh, uh, ball cap and Nate Rowland's medium shirt and East Coast Star Party. So, Nate, we got your stuff. I hope you'll come to the, to the meeting. I know Nate's out there. We're we'll bringing the guys on. Bring him to uh, the lunch. Yeah, I'll okay. bring him to the lunch. Because okay. you don't not want to ship it personally. I had to ship some stuff to Chuck. He just emailed me. Well, you don't even want to know how much it cost him. It, <laughs> it was eight bucks to ship. Um, to ship riches. When sure. you're in a remote area like Chuck is, it's a lot. It's a lot more. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, and that was the cheapest that I could find. You know. Okay, so that's the old business, the new business, and I guess we're up to the uh, door prize. Did, did we? To, did we? Give out any tickets? No, we need to. Well, the, the door prize is pretty cool, you know. It's a 2023 Night Sky Almanac. Oh, by the way, today's the last. This is the last month of 2023. That's all I could find in my collection that was uh, noteworthy. I'm going to buy the, the 2024. It's not quite as good as the uh, the almanac that, that they have, but it's published by the Canadian. Uh, astronomical this thing. Looks like, it looks like an ETX one twenty five in front. Yeah, it does. Uh, it does, and it's got it. It does have great star things and what to look for. Messier objects. Yeah, and they're all the same. But of course, the moon phases will be different. But uh, we'll give that away if we can find some tickets here. We don't have any. Do I don't think I have any tickets. We're not going to be able to give it away today. I'm sorry. We have got solar glasses. We could give some. We should give it to the new guy. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, let's just do that. Who, who's the new guy that uh, came here for the first time? Thank you. There you go. There you go. Right. You're going to be hooked. All right. I think I don't think I left anything out. Uh, some my, Rich says, got to sell 200. I think we sold 214 last year. That's from the uh, I'm looking at the chat. All right. Anybody got anything else before we uh, conclude the meeting and proceed to the planetarium? Have you guys out there? I can um, I can. What's the planetarium show, uh, uh, Kevin? The Seven Wonders of the World. And I'll try to I'll try to do a live. My live broadcast doesn't work too good in the planetarium, but I'll try to do a live broadcast on the. On the phone. So if you'll join the uh, after we end the meeting, we'll put the live broadcast on the uh, Facebook, Facebook Live, Facebook Live. All right. Any questions before we conclude the meeting? All right. And we'll see you guys next January, next year, right? No. No, we're not going to. Oh, that's right. We'll see everybody at the uh, luncheon. Oh, all, right. all right. Now our meeting's adjourned and we can stop recording. Thank you very much, guys.